Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be showing you my top picks for what I want to pick up in the Sephora VIB Rouge sale that's going to be starting this weekend and then continuing on to next weekend, I believe. So I wanted to get this video up before the sale started to kind of give you my opinions on what I think is worth it to pick up in the sale because 15% off comes around very rarely, especially for a lot of these high-end brands. This Sephora sale happens twice a year, once now, and then the second time I think is in November. So it's kind of few and far between, but very worth it to stock up on certain items during this time. So if you wanna see my top picks, please keep watching. Okay, so I have about five categories of products that I really think is worth it to pick up when this 15% off sale comes around. And the first one is tools. So these are things that we use regularly, so it kind of is worth it to get the discount on them because we kind of go through them quickly. The first one is the Beauty Blender, and I use my Beauty Blender every single day, and as you can see, mine's looking a little battered, and it's starting to do that thing where it like, comes apart because I've had it for a few months now. So I'm planning to pick up another one of these. Another thing that would be great to pick up is another makeup eraser. I also use that every day and that's something that kind of can be used for a long time, but they kind of get a little like gross towards the end. So I have a couple that need to be thrown away and maybe a new one purchased. And also brushes because brushes very rarely ever have a discount like from any other brand that I see anyway. So especially the higher end brushes, like if you're looking at a NARS brush or a Tom Ford brush that you've been eyeing for a while and you're not quite sure if it's worth the investment, you might as well pick it up on sale and try it out then. Okay, my second category of products to pick up during the sale is your favorites and things that you continue to repurchase. So the number one thing that I'm definitely going to be getting is this Clinique Superfine Liner for Brows. And this is my second one that I've run out of. And I bought this one actually during the last sale in November. So my first one kind of ran out a little after that and then I've been using this. And now is the perfect time to pick up another one because I know I'm going to use this up and keep repurchasing it. So I know I want another one, I need a backup. This one ran out the other day and now I'm using something else on my brows and it's just not the same. So I'm definitely going to be picking this up. In addition to any makeup products that you use up regularly that you know you will be repurchasing anyway, another good thing to repurchase during the sale is any skincare that you use up regularly. So I'm going to be repurchasing the Kiehl's face lotion that I use. So I'm going to read you off the app what it is because the name's always long. I always forget what it's called. And this is the Kiehl's Super Multi-Corrective Cream Sunscreen broad SPF 25 or fit 30 sorry so this is $64 and I'll try to insert screenshots of all of the products but this is my go-to daily moisturizer I used it towards the end of summer last year and I really loved it and just the ones that I've been using lately I'm not as happy with so I'm definitely going to be picking this up because high-end skincare also does not ever go on sale and for the final category would be hair products. In the sale in November, I actually picked up a whey hair oil and it's been lasting me pretty long. This would be another good time to pick it up. Obviously I'm naming a lot of products. I can't just repurchase all of these at once, but that is another good thing to consider if there is maybe a um, dry shampoo that you use up regularly or any other hair product from Sephora, now's the time to pick it up. I would definitely recommend the whey hair oil and the whey finishing cream. I also really like the dry bar products. Um, I would highly recommend their texture texture spray. So there's lots of options and things to pick up right now. Okay, and moving into the more fun categories, the fourth category I want to talk about is limited edition stuff. So this stuff kind of can fade out quickly, so it's nice to pick it up in the sale because typically it tends to just be here for a short amount of time and then not anymore, hence why it's limited edition, obviously. You all know that, but um, I two things that I've been eyeing are this, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amorezy Highlighter, which is this beautiful looking gold highlighter. And this is something that I normally just wouldn't buy full price because I have a million highlighters, but it's kind of looks a little more worth my while in the sale. And the second thing is this Becca Chrissy Teigen Glow Face Palette from Becca. And this is $46 and it's a huge palette. My sister actually loves this, so I've been thinking about getting it for myself, but I think the colors are just a little too dark for me. But if you're any more um, tan than I am, this would probably be absolutely beautiful on your skin. I'm just not sure if those darker highlights would really work for my fair skin. But this palette is limited edition and really beautiful. And again, I wouldn't normally just pick it up for myself, but with the sale, it makes it a little bit more appealing. And that was actually the third category. The real fourth category is luxury makeup. And this stuff never goes on sale. It's always super overpriced. So getting it 15% off just helps take the edge off a little bit when you're like, mm, do I wanna spend $50 on one bronzer or on one eyeshadow? That doesn't feel worth it. So one thing that I'm planning to pick up in the sale is the Guerlain Terracotta Bronzing Powder. And I've had my eye on this for absolutely years. Obviously this is a cult favorite, classic beauty product. Everyone talks about it. 
and I've just really been wanting a new bronzer in my life. It's getting into spring summertime, so I want to look a little bit more bronze anyway, and I'll be reaching for my bronzer a lot more, even though I wear it every day in the winter also. But this is a great time to pick up any luxury items like that. Tom Ford lipsticks I also highly recommend. I love a few of those, and there's just some beautiful products that you can get at a great 15% off discount during the sale. Also something like the Dior lip glows or the YSL lipsticks, all those just beautiful small little products that are way overpriced that you wouldn't normally buy. Now's the time to snatch them because 15% off, it just doesn't come around that often. Okay, and final category is fragrance. I've bought a lot of perfumes during the VIB sale because they are on sale, obviously. I love the Replica Easy Sun, or what's it called? The Replica Lazy Sunday Morning Perfume. That's one of my favorites. They also carry Jo Malone at um, Sephora now, and I absolutely love Blackberry and Bay and Wood Sage and Sea Salt. Those are two of my favorites. So I would definitely recommend picking up a fragrance. I also really like Chloe fragrances, uh, Roses de Chloe, and just the signature Chloe scent are absolutely beautiful. So if you're almost running out of your perfume and you're needing to pick up another one, again, that's another great category of things to consider. And that's it for this quick roundup of all the products that I would recommend you picking up during the Sephora VIB Rouge sale. I hope you got some good ideas of what to pick up. Another quick category I'll mention is travel size. If you have a trip coming up, they have great minis. So that's something to think about. I'm not going to be traveling soon and I have a lot of minis already. So that's not something that I'll be looking at. But if you are, definitely check out the minis. As always, all the products that I mentioned will be listed in the description box down below. And I also upload two days a week on Monday and Thursday. So please subscribe if you haven't already so that you don't miss my next video. And thank you so much for watching.